The national women's cricket team head coach Frances Otieno has warned that the team faces a daunting, a daunting task in their attempt to defend the Kwibuka Women's T20 Cricket Tournament scheduled uh, for 9th uh, to 19th of June in Kigali, Rwanda. Kenya is among seven nations that have confirmed participation in the 8th edition of the tournament held uh, in remembrance of victims of the 1994 Rwandan genocide. Head coach Francis Otieno admitted there is a pressure for the sider to retain the Kwibuka title, but stated that his long-term goal was to help the team qualify for the one-day status. Our bigger goal is to see that uh, we get to qualify for the one-day status as the women's one-day status, and even and even at some point we get a chance to play at the global level, in the T20 global level, at the global level. So basically Rwanda is just part of our journey, you know, and uh, whatever the results, you're not going to be really, it is not really going to demoralize as much, whatever happens. It is just part of the journey. The coach who took charge of the team recently pointed out that for the country to regain the status, the local women's league needed revamping, getting the national team regular international games, among other changes. For us to be able to get a chance to be able to play in the one day, to get one day status, we need to be playing more games. We need to have our local leagues being played here, women local leagues, you know. And those are some of the challenges that we are facing, you know. And uh, we need also to make a lot of tours to get more exposure, to play against the bigger, the bigger teams, so that in that way we can be able to build our team. Because to get one day status means that you're playing some good cricket, and you can't play some good cricket if you don't have enough exposure, if you don't have enough games to help you prepare. A fairly changed Kenyan squad will face hosts Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, Nigeria, Germany, Brazil and Botswana in round robin in the nine-day tournament. Team captain Quinta Abel believes that the team is ready, singling out batting, which she said had proved challenging to the team in previous matches, but had now improved under the guidance of head coach Francis, who also coached Uganda's women national team between 2016 and 2018. We always have a weakness in our batting. We tend to depend on the top six. Now that he has come in, we can have up to number 11 batting and getting us to win. So he has really come of real hand to us. Quinta, who emerged the series' best player last year, will lead a squad of 14 players to the championship that Kenya will use to prepare for the forthcoming Women's T20 Cricket World Cup qualifiers in September in Uganda. Two teams from the eight participating nations will proceed to the next round of the World Cup qualifiers where Malaysia, Bangladesh, Scotland and Sri Lanka wait. Four best placed teams from the World Qualifiers will earn slots at the final scheduled next year in South Africa. Kenya, four-time winners of the Kwibuka tournament held annually since 2014, is expected to depart for Rwanda on 7th of June. Bernard Okumu for Easy Friday Sports.